For years, Nathan Wilson and his wife, Kelsey, had struggled to conceive. Their journey had been filled with disappointment, countless doctor's visits, and heart attack. After much discussion and contemplation, they decided to explore their last option. Nathan, though hesitant, eventually agreed to pursue the dream of becoming parents, even though he was unsure of what the future would hold. But this decision was not what anyone had imagined. Nathan reluctantly followed through with the plan, but deep down, he was conflicted. He wasn't sure how he would feel when the baby arrived, or how he would bond with a child that didn't share his genetic roots. His concerns only grew when their daughter, Brianna, was born. Despite the joy surrounding her arrival, Nathan found it difficult to fully connect with her. The knowledge of her genetic origins weighed heavily on him, making him feel like an outsider in his own family. As the days passed, Nathan put on a brave face, trying to be a supportive husband and father. He participated in the usual routines, but there was a noticeable distance in his behavior. He struggled with a feeling he couldn't shake. This wasn't right to him. He had imagined fatherhood differently, and the reality of it didn't match what he had hoped for. His reluctance to bond with Brianna didn't go unnoticed. Kelsey, his wife, grew increasingly concerned. She would watch him stay distant, even as Brianna cried in the middle of the night, and it was always Kelsey who would wake up to take care of their daughter. Nathan would lie in bed, wide awake, unable to feel any emotional connection to the baby. It was something he simply couldn't overcome. Kelsey, troubled by Nathan's behavior, tried to bring it up with him, but he dismissed her concerns. He insisted that he just needed time to adjust to fatherhood and that he would get there eventually. But Kelsey knew something was wrong. This wasn't the man she had known, and it wasn't the father she had hoped for their child. His withdrawal from Brianna and his emotional distance were becoming impossible to ignore. Meanwhile, Nathan's mother, Georgina, began to sense the tension in their home. She had never seen Nathan like this before. His distance, his reluctance to engage with his daughter was completely out of character. This was supposed to be one of the happiest times in his life, but it seemed like something was missing. Georgina, always perceptive, became determined to uncover the truth behind her son's strange behavior. She started probing Nathan subtly, asking him questions about his feelings toward Brianna, trying to understand why he seemed so disconnected from her. At first, Nathan brushed off his mother's inquiries, uncomfortable with the attention she was giving him. He didn't want to admit what he was feeling, not even to his mother. But Georgina was persistent. She noticed his unease and continued to ask gentle questions, observing how he interacted with Brianna. Nathan, already feeling the weight of the situation, became even more guarded. He didn't want anyone to know what he was really going through, but the scrutiny from his mother only increased. Georgina began to suspect that something deeper was at play. She saw how Nathan would stiffen when Brianna was placed in his arms, how he would avoid eye contact with her, and how he never seemed to hold her for long. She could tell that something wasn't right, and the more she watched, the more she became convinced that Nathan's behavior was more than just a father struggling to adjust to a newborn. Nathan, meanwhile, couldn't escape his mother's sharp gaze. Every time she came over, he felt like he was under a microscope, and the pressure was building. He tried to hide his discomfort, but Georgina was observant, noticing the little things, the way he hesitated before holding Brianna, his reluctance to speak about her, and his inability to bond with his own daughter. Georgina was onto him, and Nathan felt trapped. The tension in the house grew thicker with every passing day, and Nathan found it harder and harder to keep up the facade. The situation was becoming unbearable for him. The secret he had been hiding, the deep inner conflict he felt about being a father to Brianna, was slowly eating away at him. He couldn't seem to make peace with it, but he also couldn't bring himself to face the truth. The stress of hiding his feelings, of constantly feeling like a failure as a father, was becoming too much to bear. Yet, he couldn't let anyone see the turmoil inside him, especially not Kelsey or his mother. 
As his family continued to watch him struggle, it was clear that something had to change. Nathan's reluctance to face his own emotions had reached a breaking point. Nathan and Kelsey had always known they wanted children. From the moment their relationship became serious, they talked about having a family, dreaming of at least one boy and one girl. It was something they both eagerly anticipated for their future. But when the time finally came, things didn't go as they had hoped. Despite their best efforts, conceiving proved to be more challenging than they ever expected. After several months of trying with no success, they decided to consult a fertility specialist. They were willing to do whatever it took to make their dream of having a family a reality. The specialist recommended IVF treatments, which they agreed to try. The first treatment failed, and so did the second and the third. Each setback was harder to bear than the last, and soon they found themselves caught in a cycle of disappointment and heart attack. With every negative test result, Kelsey's hope began to fade. Nathan tried to stay strong for her, but it was getting harder and harder to keep up the front. Finally, after yet another round of unsuccessful treatments, Kelsey was devastated. She had been so sure this would work, but now, with nothing to show for all their effort and money, she felt like they had reached the end of the road. Life had dealt them so many heartbreaks already, and this felt like the final blow. They were supposed to be parents by now, and instead, they were left with nothing but an empty, aching desire for the family they had dreamed of. That's when the doctor suggested something they had never even considered. It was another option, a last resort, but one that might finally give them the family they had longed for. Kelsey's mind raced with the possibilities. Could this really be the breakthrough they had been waiting for? It seemed too simple, too different, yet Kelsey couldn't help but wonder if it could work. The doctor explained the details, and while Kelsey was hesitant, she found herself willing to try anything. She didn't want to give up on the dream of having a family. Nathan, on the other hand, was not at all on board. To him, this idea felt wrong, as though they were tampering with nature in a way that violated some fundamental principle. He couldn't imagine going down this path. This wasn't what he had pictured for them, and he wasn't sure he could accept it. But Kelsey's desperation to become a mother overpowered her doubts, and she pushed him, pleading with him to consider it. She argued that this might be their only chance, perhaps their last hope to build the family they had always dreamed of. After much debate, Nathan reluctantly agreed, but his heart wasn't in it. He felt conflicted and uncomfortable, unsure if they were making the right choice. He couldn't shake the feeling that they were stepping into uncharted, dangerous territory. But Kelsey's persistence won out, and they began the long and difficult process, filled with appointments, medications, and a glimmer of hope. Nathan went along with it all, trying to be supportive, but deep down, he struggled with feelings of doubt and discomfort. The day the procedure was finally scheduled, Nathan was paralyzed with indecision. He was scared, uncertain, and hesitant. Kelsey, seeing his struggle, took his hand and led him into the clinic, her face set with determination. He followed her, trying to push aside his inner turmoil and be there for her, even if he wasn't fully present in his heart. The following weeks were filled with anxious waiting, each day dragging on as they looked for signs, fatigue, nausea, anything that could indicate success. The emotional roller coaster was exhausting. When the pregnancy test finally came back positive, Kelsey was overwhelmed with joy, tears streaming down her face. But Nathan's reaction was more complex. He was happy for her, but he couldn't fully embrace the news. His emotions were tangled, and he wasn't sure if he could be truly happy about this. When their daughter, Brianna, was born, it should have been the culmination of everything they had fought for. The moment they had worked so hard to achieve. But instead of the overwhelming joy Kelsey had imagined, it only deepened the emotional divide between her and Nathan. As Kelsey cradled Brianna in her arms, Nathan stood off to the side, his hands clenched tightly at his sides. He couldn't bring himself to hold the baby. He wanted to feel the joy she did, but there was something inside him that felt disconnected, a feeling he couldn't explain. 
He was happy for Kelsey. She had finally gotten the baby she had always wanted, but Nathan's heart wasn't in it. The reality of fatherhood didn't feel the way he had imagined, and he struggled to reconcile the joy of having a child with his deep sense of unease. Kelsey noticed Nathan's withdrawal. She saw how distant he had become, how he couldn't bring himself to bond with their daughter. She understood that this was a big change for both of them, but the growing tension in their household was impossible to ignore. Kelsey was overwhelmed with the joy of being a mother, but Nathan felt like an outsider in his own family. He couldn't shake the feeling that he wasn't meant to be here, that something was fundamentally wrong, and he struggled to face it. Their once shared dream of parenthood had turned into a painful, unspoken rift between them, and it was unclear if they would ever bridge the gap. It was as though Nathan wasn't the same man anymore. Kelsey felt like she had lost the man she married. After years of struggling to have a child, she had finally given birth to their daughter, Brianna, but instead of the joy she expected, Nathan seemed distant and disconnected. When the families came over to meet the new baby, Nathan tried his hardest to put on a happy face. He played the role of the proud father and supportive husband, but deep down, it was eating him up inside. There was one person who noticed the change in him. Nathan's mother, Georgina, observed her son with growing concern. He didn't seem excited or happy about the arrival of his precious granddaughter. Everyone else was thrilled, after all, they knew the long road Kelsey and Nathan had walked to get to this point. To the family, Rihanna was a miracle, a blessing that had come after so much pain and struggle. But Nathan's behavior was worrying. He seemed detached, almost as if he didn't want to be there. Georgina could no longer ignore her concerns. She had to know what was really going on with her son. She couldn't bear to see the man she had raised so unhappy and she knew that Kelsey, too, was hurting from his emotional distance. That evening, after the rest of the family had left, Georgina decided to confront Nathan privately. She found him sitting alone in the dimly lit living room, staring blankly ahead. His posture was slumped, his eyes distant. Nathan, she began softly, taking a seat beside him. I need to know what's really going on. You've been distant, avoiding Brianna and it's tearing Kelsey apart. Please tell me the truth. Nathan's facade cracked. He turned to his mother, his eyes welling with tears that he'd been holding back. It's nothing, Mom, he said, his voice shaking with emotion. I'm just finding it hard to adjust to fatherhood. Georgina wasn't convinced. She had known Nathan his whole life, and this wasn't just about adjusting to fatherhood. There was something deeper, something more troubling that he wasn't saying. She could see the pain behind his words, and she wasn't going to let him brush it off. Nathan, she said gently, her voice full of concern, I know you're struggling, but this isn't just about being a new father. What's really going on? I can see it's tearing you apart. Nathan hesitated, his lips trembling. He wanted to confide in his mother, but the truth was so difficult to admit. He felt trapped in a situation he couldn't control, unable to reconcile the father he thought he'd be with the one he had become. But Georgina wasn't going to let him hide behind excuses any longer. She could see that something was seriously wrong, and she was determined to find out what. Georgina knew she had to take matters into her own hands if Nathan wasn't ready to open up to her. She felt helpless watching her son suffer in silence, and she knew Kelsey was equally heartbroken. So, in an effort to get to the truth, Georgina did something drastic. She installed a hidden camera in the nursery. One night, as Kelsey and Nathan were getting Brianna ready for bed, Georgina quietly sat downstairs, her heart racing as she listened to the conversation upstairs. Kelsey and Nathan were speaking in hushed tones, but Georgina could hear bits and pieces of their words. She leaned forward, straining to catch what was being said. As she listened, her heart sank. What she overheard only confirmed her worst fears. Nathan's voice was low and filled with uncertainty. I don't know if I can do this, Kelsey, he said. I feel like I'm just going through the motions. I don't know if I'm cut out for this. 
Kelsey's voice was gentle but filled with sadness. You're a great dad, Nathan. You just need time. It's okay. But Nathan wasn't convinced. No, it's not just that. It's something more. I thought I'd feel different once she was here, but I don't. I can't shake this feeling that something's wrong. Georgina's heart broke as she listened. She had suspected that something more was at play, but hearing it confirmed in Nathan's own words left her shaken. She couldn't imagine how Kelsey must have felt hearing her husband express these doubts. It was clear to Georgina that Nathan wasn't just struggling with fatherhood. There was something deeper, something he hadn't been able to admit to anyone, perhaps not even to himself. Georgina couldn't ignore the tension in her family after hearing Nathan's confession. He admitted he couldn't bond with Brianna because she wasn't biologically his. This revelation left her shaken, and she spent the night wondering if it could tear their family apart. The next day, Georgina confronted Nathan. We need to talk, she said calmly. I heard what you said last night. You need to tell me everything. Nathan, caught off guard, explained that they had used a sperm donor. It was our only option, and I can't get over it, he admitted. Georgina reassured Nathan, Brianna may not be biologically yours, but she's your daughter in every way that matters. Her words helped Nathan embrace fatherhood, and he began bonding with Brianna, enjoying their time together. Kelsey noticed the change, and their family began to heal. With Georgina's support, Nathan sought therapy, learning that love was about care and shared experiences, not biology. Over time, his confidence grew, and his relationship with Kelsey strengthened. Brianna became a symbol of their perseverance, and together, they faced parenthood as a united, stronger family.